All right, Chem 11, we are back. We're going to do a synthesis and decomposition problem solving session. We just covered these two types of reactions in class. We went over the different patterns that they follow. And so now we're going to go over some of the problems that were assigned to you on your worksheets and just work them out. I'll kind of reason them out out loud, you know, like how my brain would reason them out. And uh, hopefully you'll understand, you know, kind of my line of thinking and be able to interpret what's going in and be able to predict what's going to come out. Anyway, let's get at it. Now, your worksheet looked like this. Your worksheet had names on it, right? They're written out names. Well, most of them are pretty easy. I think you guys could do that pretty easily, you know, convert those names into formulas. So I did that automatically. You can see here, we've got all of the formulas written down for these things rather than the names. So that's how I'm gonna do these, all right? So I just selected random ones so that we can get a little bit of everything, all right? Now, if you remember, we had, you know, simple synthesis reactions. We had ones that made acids, ones that made bases and stuff like that, some that made carbonates. So let's go through and uh, see if we can pick up on some of these patterns and predict the products here. So our first reaction, carbon dioxide and water. Now, every year I get somebody that's going to do this. Two elements, two elements, this is two compounds, I'm going to do a double displacement. The only thing is, in a double displacement, if I take the H and bring it over here, it goes with the O, and I bring the C, that's with an O, and bring it over here, it will still be with an O. That doesn't work. So whenever you encounter something like that, and there's a couple of those on this board right now, um, it's got to be a synthesis. All right? H will go over here, go with O, C is going to leave O and go with O. No, that can't happen. All right? So... What I'm going to do here is I'm going to combine these first two. This is a non-metal oxide, right? Carbon is a non-metal. It's with oxygen, so it's a non-metal oxide in water. Non-metal oxides in water make acids, and I know acids begin with H, right? Now, if I take the stuff outside of the hydrogen, outside of the H's, I've got C and two O's and a third O. So C with three O's. That's carbonate. Now I can just simply do my crisscrossing. This is a one. It'll come down here. I'm not showing that one. The charge on carbonate would be two. I'm going to bring that down. So it's carbonic acid. All right. So that's the first one. And if you look very quickly, two hydrogens, two hydrogens, one carbon, one carbon, two oxygens plus a third oxygen is three oxygens. That one is already balanced. The next one, a metal oxide and water. Non-metal oxide and water gave us an acid. Metal oxide and water is the opposite. It gives us a base. So Ca will go first because it's gonna be our positive ion. And we're gonna combine the water and the oxygen to make hydroxide. Now we gotta see if this is a good formula. That's a two, it'll come down here. That's a one, it'll come down here, but not, not gonna show one. I'll bracket that up because we want two hydroxides, not just two hydrogens, and it's calcium hydroxide. So you can see the opposite effect here. Non-metal, right, metal. Non-metal oxide and water, acid. Metal oxide and water, base. Acids and bases are opposites of each other. Metal oxide, non-metal oxide. So it's a little pattern that you can kind of get used to as you do more of these. Our third one here is number four on our sheet. Nitrogen gas, hydrogen gas. Now notice the little twos here, right? They're both diatomic gases. When they come together, they form ammonia, NH3. Now we're gonna have to balance this off. Oh, sorry. This one's balanced already as well. I just noticed that and I forgot to tell you. CA, CA, two O's, two O's, two H's, two H's. All right, to this one, this one is not balanced. Two N's, only one. So I'll put a two here. 
two ends, two ends. Two times three is six hydrogens. Two times, got to put a three here, is six hydrogens. Now that one's all balanced. Our next one, lithium, which is a metal, and oxygen, lithium oxide, and water. This is a metal oxide and water. That's very similar to this up here, metal oxide and water. We got a base out of that, we'll get a base out of this. So we'll get lithium hydroxide. A lot of our bases, not all of them, a lot of our bases end in OH. And sorry, I don't need brackets here because I'm getting ahead of myself. Lithium's a one, hydroxide's a one in terms of their charge, so we're already good right there with that formula. Yeah, a lot of our bases end in hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide, lithium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, um, potassium hydroxide, these are all common bases and they all end in hydroxide. It's a metal with hydroxide. But not all bases have that. Ammonia, ironically from our previous um, example, is a base as well, all right? So that's one of them that doesn't have hydroxide in it. Is this balanced? Two H's, only one. And I think that might have done the trick. Two H's, two H's, two LI's, two LI's, one plus a second O, two O's, and we're good. The next one. All right, here again we've got sodium oxide and carbon dioxide. This looks like it could be a double displacement, but again, they both end in the same thing, oxygen. So you can't just switch partners and still end up with the same thing that you started with. That's not gonna do anything. So this has to be a synthesis. So I'll put my metal first, and then I'll just add the rest. C with two O's and a third O, and we'll get carbonate. Now, the charge on this is a one, I'll bring that one down here, not going to show it. This is a two, I'll bring that two down. So we have sodium carbonate. Two sodiums, two sodiums, carbon, carbon, three O's and three O's. So everything is all good with that one. All right, pause the video if you need to get these down. I'm going to do a couple more for you and then we'll get into the decomposition ones. We're still doing synthesis. Shouldn't have erased that, but no worries. Synthesis, let's do number 11. And let's do number 13 and 14 off this sheet. And then we'll get into those decompositions. Number 11 is aluminum. Any metal by itself is by itself, so I don't put any little twos or threes by it. Oxygen gas is a diatomic gas. Number 13, barium oxide. Barium's a two, oxygen is also a two. That's a good formula, they'll cancel out. And sulfur, trioxide. All right, sulfur, trioxide. And then the last one, sodium plus fluorine gas, right? Two lone elements, this is a simple synthesis, and look, Sodium, any metal by itself is by itself. I don't need a little two. But fluorine is a diatomic gas. So it gets that little two. All right. Well, the first one is a, synth uh, a simple synthesis. So I'm just gonna put the two of them together. And then I'm gonna crisscross. Aluminum is a three, that'll come down here. Oxygen is a two, that'll come down here. And we'll get Al2O3. To balance that off, I'm looking at my oxygens first. I've got two here and three here. Whenever I have two and three, I gotta make them into six. So two times three is six, and three times two is six. And then my aluminums. Two times two is four, four aluminums, and that one is good. Here we've got barium oxide and sulfur trioxide. 
Again, it can't be a double displacement. We're not going to move BA from O to bring it over and B with O, and S is going to leave O and go over with O again. So we're going to combine them. The metal will go first, then SO4. I'm adding up my O's here, and we have barium sulfate. Barium's a 2 for a charge. Sulfate is also a 2. Not going to touch anything. The two 2's will cancel. And the last one is a simple synthesis. NA and F come together. Let's do those charges and crisscross them. That's a 1, and this is also a 1. Those two charges are the same, so they'll cancel, and we just end up with NAF. Now to balance this one, I need two Fs here because I have two going in. So two Fs and then two NAs, and we are done. All right? So synthesis, not too bad. Hopefully you get that, no problem. Let's do some decompositions from the reverse side of that same sheet. Pause the video if you do need to get these down. I'm going to set up our decompositions. All right, so on the reverse of this, you had synthesis, and on the other side, you had decomposition reactions. So we're gonna do some of those now, okay? We'll set those up very quickly. Decomposition, or if you're in French class, decomposition. Decomposition. All right, so let's do some decompositions. Let's do number one, number two. Let's do number four. Let's do number six. We'll start with these ones. Number one, sodium carbonate, Na2CO3, and it's gonna break down. Number two, barium chlorate, barium. Chlorate, that's going to break down. Number four, carbonic acid. Number five, or number six, sorry, barium. Hydroxide. All right, let's take a look at these ones. All right. So we've got a carbonate, and we know carbonates. Now, carbonates kick out carbon dioxide, and that's kind of how we looked at these in class, right? For each decomposition, we looked at what gets kicked out. We kick out something, and we look at what the rest of it is that's remaining, right? These are larger substances, and they're going to break down into two smaller substances. So if we remove one thing, the other thing that will be there as a product will be whatever's left over. I'll show you what I mean. So for this first one, we're going to kick out carbon dioxide. So if I kick out carbon dioxide, carbonates, that's a carbonate, kick out carbon dioxide. If I remove carbon dioxide, what's left? Well, I'm gonna have Na, and if I look here, CO3, I remove two of the three O's, I'm still gonna have an O here. This is gonna be a metal oxide with carbon dioxide. I still have to crisscross, two and one, and I'll get that formula, but that's what I do. So I look at, I always kick something out and then put the rest of it together, whatever's remaining from it, right? Same thing here, right? This is already balanced, by the way. I'm sure you saw that. Barium chlorate. What do I kick out here? I kick out the oxygen. And chlorates are an easy one to remember. Oxygen is the last thing, boom, kick it out. So kick out the oxygen and I'll be left with barium and chlorine. I'll crisscross this and get barium chloride. All right, now this one I will have to balance. So barium, barium, good. Two chlorines, whatever's in the brackets is two of, right? There's a little one there we don't see. So two times one, that's two chlorines, great. Two oxygens come out, two times three is six. So I gotta make this six, and that single three right there will balance the whole thing out. All right? Carbonic acid. Carbonic acid is similar to carbonates. So we're gonna kick out carbon dioxide. Or, these next two examples can kind of go together. Acids and bases will also kick out water. So this one follows kind of the acid rule, kick out water, 
and it follows our carbonate rule. Kick out carbon dioxide. I'll show you what I mean. If I break this down, I'll get water and carbon dioxide, right? Acids will break down into water and a non-metal oxide, and carbonates will always give us, like up here, carbon dioxide. So it kind of follows two sets of rules there. And this one is already balanced. This is a base. Now look at our acid. We got a non-metal oxide and water. A base is going to give us water. Acids and bases give us water. And instead of a non-metal oxide, like the acid, the base is the opposite. It'll give us a metal oxide. So barium and oxygen will be together. Barium's a two, oxygen's a two. Good formula and water, good formula. And that one actually balances out as well. Barium, barium, two O's, one plus two O's, two H's, two H's, so we're good. We'll do a couple more very quickly. Pause the video if you need to get these down. All right, number eight, strontium chloride. And we'll do number 10, sulfurous acid. And we'll do number 12, nickel, three, oxide. Nickel's a three, oxygen's a two, do that. And we'll do 13, potassium chlorate. All right. Now, this is a simple decomposition, all right? I've got a metal and a non-metal, just two elements. So I separate them, S, R, and C, L. This is a metal. Any metal by itself is by itself. Cl is a diatomic gas, and actually because of that, it balances out. This next one, I've got sulfuric acid. Sorry, sulfurous acid. Sulfuric would be SO4. So this is sulfurous acid. Acids will break down by removing water, so kick out the water. What's left? Well, the two H's are part of water, and one of these O's are part of water, which means I'm gonna have S and two of the remaining O's together here as sulfur dioxide. And then I've got another simple synthesis. This one is balanced, by the way. I'm sure you noticed that already. Nickel three oxide. That's a simple decomposition. Did I say simple synthesis before? Simple decomposition. We take it apart. Nickel, any metal by itself is by itself. Oxygen is a diatomic gas. This one will require some balancing. So let's go after these oxygens first because I have three and two. I know what to do when I have three on one side and two on the other. Change them into six. Three times two is six and three times two is six. And then my nickels, two times two is four. And the last one we're going to do here that's a chlorate. Chlorates kick out the oxygen at the end. So let's remove the O2. And what's left? K and Cl. K is a 1. Cl is a 1. Good formula. This will need to be balanced. K1, K1, Cl1, Cl1. Oxygens are the issue. 3 here, 2 here. That's easy. We just talked about that. Change them both into 6. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 3 is 6. But this 2 doubles up our K and CL, so we'll put a 2 here as well. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Synthesis and decomposition, problem solving session. Hopefully your problems are solved. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below this YouTube video, or reach out to me through Edsby if you're in my class, or if you're actually sitting in my class, raise your darn hand. All right, raise your hand, speak up for yourself. You can't just sit there and not know. Anyway, hope everything's crystal clear. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.